Have you been taking pictures of me? Huh? Do you want to chop my head off? F you, Helen. It's probably you. What? <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Hey everyone, welcome back to I Spy Thai. I know it's actually been such a long time, but there's been so much going on and now I'm finally uh, glad to get back to creating content. But like the title says, I got cast in a TV show in Prague and I'm going to detail how I did that. So it was a really cool experience and I was cast in John Carpenter's Suburban Screams and John Carpenter, like the legend, the master of horror himself, the guy who created Halloween, Michael Myers, like Michael Myers used to terrify me as a kid. So to have the opportunity, even to bask in my two seconds of fame, to have the opportunity to work with him and get this, he wasn't even in Prague, he did it remotely. His wife was physically present in Prague and she was helping direct. And then he's basically helping shoot like via like a Zoom. So we were able to meet him that way. I mean, the world is just so different now. You can just shoot a TV show remotely, like pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so this is how I did it. I'm going to take you through how I signed up on the casting agency's website, what the audition process looks like, um, and basically just about my experience. Let's go. Okay, this is what I did. Pasted in casting agencies near me, went to the first website that I saw, went to the registration, and on this form, you'll just enter in all of your personal information, what you look like, select a few photos. Personally, I didn't have any professional headshots, so I just put in some selfies and what I look like, and then voila, you're registered. And they'll just reach out to you if they have anything, or you can maybe email them, let them know like you signed up and that you're interested and eager to work. So, Prague. Prague is basically becoming like the Hollywood of Europe. There's so much opportunity here. I've heard really cool things about Budapest as well. However, in Prague, um, Netflix, Peacock, lots of different casting agencies coming here to look for actors. When I was on set for Suburban Screams, I met quite a few people who had um, auditioned for the, the Apple TV show Foundations. They were cast in that. I auditioned for Foundations. I'd never got anything from it, but you know, just to be able to have that opportunity was really cool. In America, I mean, I know it's extremely competitive. So the acting pool here is competitive, yes, but would I say it's at the same scale as America? Probably not, right? So I signed up to this casting agency called Cast Me. And after, you know, a few months, they reached out to me and said, hey, your profile matches a role that we have coming up. Would you mind coming in and reading for a part? So obviously, yeah, I'm going to do it. So practiced, I rehearsed my lines, and this is kind of like what happens when you go to audition for a show. So you go in, you fill out a form, and when you're called to go in next, you enter this room and there's like a tripod in the middle of the floor. You have some tape, you have a few casting directors there. And so you go in, stand in front of the camera, kind of like how I'm doing right now. The casting director stands behind it and you look into the camera and say, hi, I'm Tyler auditioning for the role of Helen. And then all of a sudden they'll be like, all right, you ready? One, two, three, go. So the person behind the camera will start reading the lines and you'll start acting them out, you know? So you go there, you do it, and then at the end you give your side. So you do front, your profile, profile, really work it, sell it, work those angles. And yeah, and then that's basically it. Didn't hear anything for a week and I was like, oh, well, you know, that's sometimes how auditions go. Sometimes you hear things and other times it's completely radio silent, which is never fun. So after about a week, week and a half, I uh, got an email saying, hey, yeah, you've been selected to play the role of Helen in Suburban Screams. And I'm not gonna lie, I freaked out. I was so freaking excited just to be cast because I was like, yes! Um, and I have some, <laughs> I have some behind the scenes footage that I recorded on my um, iPhone. And I'll definitely put that up here, like meeting some of the cast, being in the trailer, getting hair and makeup done. I mean, they pick you up from your house. So they picked me up from my house, took me to the set.
so I'm in the little trailer. Just got done putting my costume on and now I'm just waiting in the trailer for hair and makeup. <laughs> I just honestly can't believe this. I'm just loving, I'm loving this. <laughs> So, just leaving the actor's tent now, I was hanging out with the cast, having some coffee, and now for the final event, just to go get my hair done. I think it'll be something simple, kind of like yesterday. And that is a wrap. These are brands that I... Yeah, the show itself is campy, it's fun. Uh, the actors on set were really nice, so I have nothing but good things to say. I'm pretty sure it was John Carpenter's first directorial um, project he worked on in like 13 years, so pretty cool to be selected for that. I definitely think that if you're interested in acting and you're living here in the Czech Republic, sign up for the casting agency Cast Me. I know there are quite a few others I've signed up with, I've never gotten any work from them, and I don't even know the process of going to like get an actual agent who helps get you roles. I just kind of do this as a fun thing to do while I live here. And uh, yeah, so I'm famous. Am I famous? Is it my two seconds of fame? It's prophecy true that uh, everyone in the future will be famous for 15 minutes. I mean, I always think about that quote, so yeah. Helen, Suburban Screams, that's how I did it. Sign up to a local casting agency. I'm pretty sure this could be applicable to anyone in America, in Europe, in Africa, in Asia. Sign up with a casting agency, send them your photos, you know, and just see where it goes. Cause you actually like, honestly, you never know. You could be picked for something. And the experience of just, you know, even just being on the show for, you know, two seconds, five seconds was just so much fun because when you get to see how the process is made, then whenever you watch TV, you just think to yourself, huh, like now you've, you've been in that atmosphere, you've been in that arena, and it lifts a veil. It lifts a veil. That's actually the perfect way to describe it. So it doesn't seem so unattainable. Alrighty, I hope you like this video. I have lots of other things coming out just because, um, yeah, I have a spate of things that I really want to talk about and gonna get more active on this channel. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. I hope you found it fun. Keep it light, keep it breezy. Follow I Spy Thai. I mean, like, share, subscribe, sign up to your local casting agency if that's what you want to do, if you want to act. And I'm pretty sure all throughout this video, I've like put tons of different clips from the show. Yeah, so, bye. <laughs> Fuck you, Helen.